Oh no, you're gonna love this Mom. for kids video. If you're having a little trouble with the picture on the TV now, maybe you just need to adjust the tracking on your VCR. That's the little switcher button just at the bottom of your tape player. If you need help, just call mom or dad or big brother or big sister. They'll help you. And be sure you stay tuned after the show because I'm going to tell you how you can get a free video. See you soon and enjoy the show. Maxie's World, coming this fall. Starring Maxie, everybody's favorite girl next door. She'll be joined by old friends like Punky Brewster, Little Miss Mischief herself. You'll have a blast with Punky and her pal. And the Beverly Hills teens will be there, too. You'll laugh yourself silly with all the smooth dudes and excellent dudettes of Beverly Hills. Be there with Maxie and the gang in Maxie's World. It's the most happening place to be on your TV. After bringing you up constantly throughout the Beverly Hills teens reactions, we're finally giving Maxie's World a shot. This is a syndicated 1987 cartoon produced by Deke Animation City and distributed by Claster Television and Saban International. This ran shorter than the Teen Club with 16 episodes split into two stories per episode within its one season run from September to October of 1987. Two months as opposed to the Teen's four month long packed run airing alongside them and the animated series spinoff of Punky Brewster from NBC. Unlike the teens, Maxie's World was based on a line of fashion dolls produced by Hasbro. The teens only got a game made in French, but was left unfinished. The doll line started in 1986 when Gem and the Holograms had trouble with sales in its second year, and lasted until 1990 when Mattel began introducing new friends for our reigning queen of the dress-up doll, Barbie. The series takes place in the fictional seaside town of Surfside and follows the adventures of teenager Maxie Johnson and her circle of friends of Surfside High. Maxie is a popular straight-A student, surfer, cheerleader, and host slash investigative reporter of her own TV talk show, Maxie's World. Basically, she's the result of a little DNA experiment we did with Lark, Bradley, Chester, and Switchboard using a blender we got from an Oprah Winfrey show giveaway and did it all in the studio that tapes Inside Edition. Maxie, by the way, is voiced by Loretta Jeffless of Sailor Moon's Diana, the cat that accompanies Chibiusa, as well as Eugeal of The Witches 5 and other miscellaneous voices. Frequently accompanying Maxie on her adventures is her boyfriend Ken, uh, I mean Troy, uh, sorry, Rob Stevenson, a handsome and popular football and soccer star at Surfside High. You can see why I kind of got confused. Rob is voiced by Simon Reynolds of the future hit series Warehouse 13. Also along for the ride is Ashley Wooden, Carly Cooper, Simone Williams, and Mushroom and Ferdy. Ashley's Maxie's makeup department is voiced by Susan Roman of Sailor Jupiter fame. Also, The Adventures of Sam and Max Freelance Police, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs as Hannah Dundee, and The Adventures of Tin Tin as Snowy the Dog. Carly is the lighting technician on Maxie's show, and is voiced by Twilicious herself, Tara Strong. Simone is a token black chick akin to teen Chanel, who is Maxie's film operator. She is voiced by Suzanne Coy, who somehow got involved with Gadget and the Gadgetinis. Oh, and Hardland. Mushroom and Ferdy are the best buds of the whole shebang, who used to be part of a towing company. Ferdy operates the camera and is voiced by Yannick Bison of Murdoch Mysteries, while Mushroom does special effects and is voiced by Geoff Connor of The Only Thing I Can Find is a game called Project Earth Star Mageddon. And as every good show goes, we have to have some conflict. So our antagonist lies somewhat in Jerry Jeffries, who's jealous of Maxie's success and wants the fame for herself. She looks so much like Bianca Dupree, we have to get Bianca blonde hair in the crossover episode that we'll be covering later. She is voiced by Medine Rabinovich, who was the busty and timid Mina of Air Master, and Dennis Marmalade in the Mega Man spinoff game The Misadventures of Tron Bond. The whole series revolves around Maxie and her adventures with her talk show, dealing with solving mysteries and crimes with that touch of comedy, all the while Jerry tries to sabotage her show. So let's have a scene. And I have a kooky. Oh, wait, that's to catch a predator. Um, you know, let's just watch the show.
And now, our feature presentation. I like Wait, the sharp in here? background. Yes, he is. Yeah, he's in here. yeah, I'm right here. Snipe him, bitch. Take the shot. <laughs> and then a shark attack! <laughs> and throw him overboard. Let's try to keep ah! it. Free <laughs> hey, that's a rip. It's... No, never mind. They ripped that off from someone else. Wow, Hanna Barbera Road, my favorite. I feel like oh, Cruise in Exotica or Cruise in USA. Surf TV? Man, you know those like freaking. This is how a live TV. stream is put into production. Why wouldn't they go to the actual beach? When you're at the fucking beach. See, at least that background makes sense. It's space. It's the still the beach! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Date expectations. Written by Judy Rotham. Oh boy. Surf side. Is that like <laughs> a play on? Play that. That's <laughs> how you play soccer. <laughs> Who's the chat? Just kick him in the shins. Shake it, shake it, booty, quick, get roll it around. Ah! <laughs> Wait, is that Colonel Adams? Look, like, I mean. That's Colonel <laughs> Sanders, bro. Oh my the god. Bottom left. That's Colonel Sanders, bro. Oh dear. <laughs> This You're a little too ripped to be playing soccer. Okay, why is she the only one not in yellow? Uh, because she's the star of the show. <laughs> Where's the faking yeah. twisting of ankles and the complaining and the whining like That's a That's how bitch. Zach Morris won the game for base side high. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna say it. The goalie looked like another guy altogether when he died for the ball. He looked like he's- That's a horrible go. <laughs> He's my man. If he can't do it, no one can. And once again, Maxie's major hunk of a boyfriend wins the game for Surfside. Boys by Tara Strong. Are you crazy? You know, Maxie, that play reminded me of the winning play Rob made when you first met him, remember? Oh, Simone, how can I forget? It all started when I interviewed Rob on my show. How come this bitch has a local TV show? Don't put anyone on the air. Fucking thing sucks! Will you keep saying father? I, I mean, playing soccer now that you've transferred to Surfside? With you cheering me on, I'll have no problem. Kind of weird choice to put me on Surf TV, I'll be honest. What next? I don't like her hair. Too fucking Barbie-esque. If you cut the earlier, his hand was out the whole time they did that faraway show. Never mind. I have a question for you. Are you busy on Saturday afternoon? Wow! Someone called the newsroom. Rob asked Maxie out on the air. Damn! Stop the presses! A date is happening! The day of our date, I tried on everything in my closet, but nothing seemed right. Just like Barbie on the Commodore 64. Well, that game sucked. Why? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I gotta admit, it's really hard to find the perfect outfit when you have everything you've worn. You show up a to a bride's date, dress? You marry me? <laughs> Look, I don't carry a bride's dress in my back closet, okay? I'm just saying in the general sense. Rob was having problems of his own. His dad had lent him his brand new Land Rover off-road vehicle. I guess I could skip this, but the truck hasn't been washed for at least 24 hours. Rob was so excited about our windsurfing date that he couldn't wait to get into the water. And then final destination happens. <laughs> He forgot to roll up the back window! Ah! Ah! <laughs> he drowned to death. He was struggling to get past the childproof lock while he was drowning inside of his car. Thank God, it brought a snorkel. <laughs> is that Beavis from Butthead? Is, uh, Maxio? Hey, dude. Party already. Hey, bro, how are you playing that without an amp? I have an amp on my ass. <laughs> it's in my fucking hair, bro. <laughs> like, you have a bogus address? You want 38th Street, and this is 38th Avenue. Where is 38th Street? On the other side of town. Poggers, dude. My dream date was an hour and 52 minutes late. I kept time because I got really impatient. <laughs> you don't have a watch! Oh, shit! And she broke her leg. And then everybody died. The end. Not yet! <laughs> Fun fact, everything in that purse gave him a concussion. Oh no, that was the last parking space. No problem. <laughs> Why 
don't you pull over and ask for directions, kid? I never need a mirror, you slut! The ground is boring us! Not bo- what? Oh, shit! I thought that actually came from the show. I thought that was the guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not like bro. <laughs> not bodacious. <laughs> you step on the gas, and I'll push. Okay! Honestly, that's true couple goals right there. Well, oh, okay, what the fuck? Well, okay. And he <laughs> sunk <laughs> up that car. And sunk the fuck <laughs> what land roll roll roll. Roll. Your service. What the fuck is wrong with his nose? Toys What's wrong are with his everything? Oh Look at his hands. Toes are up. Never thought I'd see Cameron from Ferris Bueller's Day Off, but with Hello, fucking boyfriend. huge ass hands. Stop stealing me fruit. I'm kidding. I messed up my dad's car, so you made me a fucking tow truck. How about dinner tonight and free tickets to the next soccer game? Whoa, that sounds like a deal to me. So he said fuck it and went surfing. Are they actually playing real pop songs or just cheesy pop crap? Cheesy, cheesy pop. Shit. I love you, man. I saw your face. Do -do 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 -do. The kind of stuff you'd hear in a Care Bears movie. I feel like the bathing suit, though. It's really cute. Oh, shut up. Oh, you shut up. At least I have my bathing yeah. suit body ready to go when I'm saying that in the general sense. All right, Gonzo, put a picture for her in her bathing suit right here. Oh, my God. <laughs> I... And the perfect kiss. Unfortunately, then came the perfect thunderstorm. Oh, hey, the Coast Guard is supposed to say Bianca. Pretty nice of us to pick up these losers. <laughs> right, Bianca? <laughs> Why is she grabbing her top? I'd rather she throw them in the water for shark food. <laughs> uh, Bye, bitches. Gone to, to Surf Burgers. burgers. Meet you there. there. M and F. Motherfuckers! Well, I said, meet you there, motherfuckers. <laughs> Why would I fucker? Imagine how much time they spent setting up that rock formation. Why and is everything surf side in the rock surf field? Just before texting, surf yeah, the text with because rocks. The, the city they're in is called Surfside. Wow, nice of you to take me to the beach, oh, Max. The oh, I like sharing a chocolate malt with a boyfriend. This is Saved by the Bell, the fucking beach episode. They ate all that food and they didn't even gain a pound. Hold on. That was around money. <laughs> he forgot his wallet. Probably got. <laughs> it probably got jacked when he was. The Could anything worse happen? Uh. The IRS comes after them. No, their fucking Land Rover is returned through the wall. Oh yeah, collateral damage charges. Damn, AAA sure is fast. My, my dad's car is totaled. He's gonna kill me. Okay, Dad, let me explain. The tow truck company crashed your car through a restaurant I couldn't pay for. Also, surprisingly, the same one that I was in, that they didn't know I was in, it crashed into. What are the odds? Are they literally making out on their front porch? And that's how I Final Destination 17. <laughs> you know, Maxie, I don't think you ever told us about your second date. Oh, that wasn't until six months later. That's how long Rob was grounded after his dad saw the Land Roamer. Oh! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Ride uh, for your life. There was no way he was talking himself out of that one. The music's kind of okay. But the designs could... Oh, they need some improvement. The Beverly Hills team's at least were more charming. Yeah. <laughs> They're also anime as fuck. Uh, there was, I agree with Ricky, there was much more love put into the Beverly Hills teen than this crap. Yeah, it like, was like they- Dorky, the jokes just the most stupid, but this one just feels like- Bland. There's no Tur love. It's, it's like bland what the cat. Show. It's a cat. The animation's it. okay, but the writing and everything just sucked. The music sucked. It's the thing though, depending on the angles, like right here. 30, 40. It looks 40. Like, it looks alright. <laughs> and that's supposed to be a kid with a fuck. That, that was a kid with a face of a Oh, yeah, no, no, that's, that's a child. <laughs> Not a fucking midget. Brother famous yeah. on TikTok, watch what you say. <laughs> oh, boy, I wonder if it's the fucking baby's no kid special. Oh, geez. Damn, he's an adult now. You got, like, a future character from Archie's Weird brother. Mysteries. The Fred. I've been on a Ferris wheel with my boyfriend. That was fun. Oh, vlog time. 
I love how, dependent on the angle, the contours constantly change how old they look. Hi, this is my vlog, everyone. Come and look. We're at the Ferris <laughs> wheel. It's okay. This was the logical conclusion of Benjamin Button's disease. I'm evil. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let me buy the Ferris wheel. Okay, I'm a Hi guys, this is my Ferris YouTube vlog. Now. Hi YouTube, holy sh! <laughs> and now my evil plan to make it go really, really fast. Why is she? Oh, oh, it's the, it's the hairstyle. I thought she was bald for a minute there. I had to do a double take. My plan is to make everyone's hair fall out of their heads. Or give them what? fucking almost horrible weaves. Actually, it's homicide from the pure momentum holy of the Ferris wheel. <laughs> but hey. <laughs> Tomato, tomato. Yeah, who gives a fuck about the other people that were on that fucking ride? Probably. Oh, I'm trying to kill them all. After us. Sucks those 50 people died just now. <laughs> it was a horrible tragedy. Worse than oh, the I've been on Not a worth animating. Ride. I've been on a log ride. That's a lot of fun. Me and my boyfriend yeah, went, to, uh, went on one of those uh, log rides. Put the I camera down. You. Enjoy your day. And um, no, we went on one of those, and it was a lot of fun. Here I'm I evil again. <laughs> I'm doing it for the lols! <laughs> Here I come to fuck up your shit! <laughs> My camcorder's all wet! Wow, so am I! That's what- If you say that's what she said one more time, I'm gonna pop you. That teach you to be a YouTuber. <laughs> My brand new running shoes are ruined! Bro, shut the fuck up. Those are new balances. You'll be fine. Say, wasn't that kind of fast? Like, it went into overdrive by itself! <laughs> yeah, ha, ha. A little bit of color inconsistencies. What a trip! Yeah, a trip on the Titanic. Look, the Titanic was a horrible yeah, disaster where people drowned in a freezing ocean. You were on a fucking log flume. Don't even compare it. What is Captain Planet show, man? <laughs> Zabongas. Zabongas. I, I guess they slipped in a subtle fucking boob joke right there. I'm buying Zabongers. Hello, my name's Madam Kitty. <laughs> She's gonna make him cook. I predict you'll pay me money. <laughs> Stop making fun of my hustle. <laughs> I hate all of you. $20 is $20, sweetie. I see. Dark, dark man. He's staring at us. Who? Never mind. He's gone now. Never mind. Bongos. Is that a real name for a tip? Uh, bongos? Wow. Yeah. I should have gone in with Maxie. Sort of? Nobody okay. chews cotton candy that much. It melts in your mouth. Just bubble gum. You ever had to chew? I don't think anybody knew how to animate. Madam Zabonga says we have to beware of a tall, dark man. You gotta be kidding. Look, Rob. That's him. Nah. Can't be. You're not gonna chase? Okay. That's just dick dastardly, bro. Motley, this is all your fault! <laughs> okay, let's follow the fucking midget. I don't know about this, Rob. Every ride we've been on today has gone crazy. Yeah! Maxie, I've been waiting to get halfway to heaven all day. No mushies! That's the rules! What the fuck's a mushy? Uh... Banging. Do you not see what ride they're on? They're on the Tunnel of Love. Hello. Fucking kid looks like a 30-year-old guy that's about to do stand-up comedy. That's what I'm saying. It's Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> yeah, he got revenge. What's the deal Would with you love boats? Stop vlogging, you dumb whore. Fucking evil McBaddy just fucking up their day every chance they get Hi, on a ride. My YouTube I'm vlog. really bored. <laughs> Security is just ass there. He Hi, can just walk into any ride. And sabotage it. It's just Kitty and Rustic on a date. This is boring. I hate you. She I'm faint. I am not ma Max. She's dead tired because all she does is work. If only we were in Whispering Oaks and then a zombie <laughs> virus and zombie outbreak I happens. Just like I fucking love her dead too. Ah! Oh my god, what the fuck is that? What's the deal with that? It's empty. Oh, well, they died. They're dead. And then it sank! It must be. You know, I just have to say, if anybody programmed shit into the ride where you can do stuff like that, 
That's a lawsuit waiting to happen. How the fuck be a fucking camcorder. lawsuit happening right like, now? What the hell is this Theron operation? You've just got like an evil, sinister bastard. How does your video camera keep on surviving ruining the day of these two teenagers? Fun fact, I actually took my uh, video camera on a spot tonight. On. I'll never sell to you, Harrison Banal. Take Spud and Sylvie and call Sergeant Karumi. Something's not right here. Come on, motherfucker, there's a guy with blue hair walking around sabotaging our rides, and you can't do anything about it? That's beyond my payroll. You're through, McFlu. That girl from the TV show is here with a camcorder, and she's got the worst day of her life on videotape. When she shows it on TV, they'll shut you down. I've sabotaged all the rides. Sell now or be ruined. You literally just admitted to a crime. I'm calling the cop. And Good Maxie's luck, videotaping. And Maxie's videotaping this shit, so... Thank God she's a pervert. Hey! What do you think you're doing? They're busted. So basically, this asshole just sabotaged a bunch of rides that Maxi just happens to be on. What was he trying to do? Buy the shit out? He was having oh, an argument with Wolfer Grimley about how he sabotaged the rides because he wants to buy the park. Some fucking Scooby Doo bullshit here. I'm going to catch you! Him. God, who knew it was so hard to catch up with a creepy messing girl? Why don't you just wait until she's off the ride and get her again? Go on the other yeah. side of the ride where the oh, my fuck. oh my god. <laughs> and this is why you wear your seatbelt, kid. Are you gonna pull out your video camera now, bitch? I'm gonna film your execution. Oh god! I really should have thought about you. this! It is kind of funny that his stupid this ass wants to try and catch her. Yeah, let's just fling. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's actually dead. It does not oh, matter shit. if he hits that sand castle, he is dead. That's some dingo animation right there. We didn't even film the yeah, fucking okay. impact! Jesus! This motherfucker Here's... crushed all the bones in his body he's on impact. He's paraplegic for life. Here's the fact. He died, this is his hell. Thanks for inviting me. I love watching that dude die. <laughs> Thanks for watching my YouTube Don't fuck me or I'll kill you! Subscribe! Hi, YouTube! You. This video is sponsored by Scooby-Doo. Like, alright, let's just... Let's just understand what happened, right? Jinkies. A guy in a suit with blue hair went around sabotaging all the rides because he wanted the park. So then he goes in and has a fight with a man that looks exactly like Wolfred Brimley. The fucking diabetes the animation. Dude. <laughs> show sucked big dick. <laughs> I mean, I would watch it just to like rift on it some more. That, that's just me. But I want to see the Beverly Hills and their crossover. I'm very curious about uh, that. Let me deal with one more episode and then we'll... Well, okay. actually, there's more of this shit? Yeah, there's 16, the apparently. Oh, but we ain't 12, we but 12 are only up on <laughs> YouTube, and the Beverly Hills Teens crossover is uploaded in its own segment on Daily Motion. You know when you the suck when you don't get enough for a full season. There is a DVD, the but uh, for... right now I can't buy it. The only saving grace for that episode is the fact that the villain just looked incredibly stupid. And the fact that all I could imagine when he was talking to the old guy owning the amusement park was that his he was His motive was argument. stupid, too. Yeah, his motive was really fucking stupid. Hey, I'm going to commit so a crime, cliche. potentially homicide, just because I want to buy your fucking carnival. <laughs> I mean, shit. <laughs> why not have it... Why not do the sabotage just for the sake of fucking insurance really? money? Like every Scooby-Doo epic villain. When he outright admitted to sabotaging the ride, I hijacked Wolfer Brimley, and I'm just like, you literally just commit, you literally just admitted to committing a crime in front of my face. I'm calling the police.
It's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? Welcome back to the Good Morning Show with Lee Erickson on WCCO. Dave, these are terrific. I don't think today's good neighbor's going to eat those. And it looks like more rain today in CCO land, but plenty of sunshine this weekend. Nobody talks in elevators. I talk in elevators. They look at their watch. They look at their shoes. You're going to love this show. I saw it last night, and it is just terrific. This is Cannon. I'm going to bring you a traffic report. Then I'm going to introduce Sid Hartman and one of his close personal friends. Here's what happened in Minnesota today. At the Capitol, some good WCCO news Radio, with you every step of the day. Yeah, all the storm. Introducing storm, a whole new kind of lemon lime. It's guaranteed to thrill your senses. Decent. I'll have another. To go? Take your first by storm. All right, I'm ready to watch this. Let's go. For my mouse just did a fucking ollie. Wasn't Ariel doing that on a TV show that came out around the same time? Wasn't so Ariel in the ocean with sea aquatic no, 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 animals? No, no, no. no. What it a ripoff. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is that Ariel, there was the Ariel show or the Little Mermaid, the TV show. I wonder what came before, that or this, because- Who had dolphins first, now. man? Shut who ripped the off who? fuck up, Ricky! <laughs> oh my god, that hairstyle? Kelly Kapowski wore that in season 12. This is Episode a ripoff. Episode 4! Episode 4, bro. Yeah, we're cancelled! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're so happy to be cancelled. Welcome to the max, uh, Surfer. The not-so-great outdoors. Is that Sparky from Speed Racer? What the fuck is that? This Wait, game's weird. You guys literally crashed my dad's car into a restaurant. Why am I hanging out with you? You're inside playing video games on a great day like this? Preparing for the summit. We need to make sure- <laughs> It's true, uh, it's the same losers. No, no, seriously, you assholes ruined my life. Why are you here? The guys are going camping this weekend. Camping? Rob, you were going to invite us, weren't you? Come on, Maxie. Girls aren't tough enough for real camping. Oh god, girls versus boys. <laughs> Gotta challenge those gender norms, Godzo! No, that was a real thing back in the day. Girls versus boys. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a trope, yeah. Did they bring a <laughs> microwave? <laughs> <laughs> They brought electronics! That was not a eh moment. This is a survival hike. You're only allowed to bring the essentials. These are the essentials. We might starve, freeze, and die of exposure, but we're gonna look hot doing it. Well, you know where your morals are. <laughs> Hope you girls aren't wearing any perfume. Perfume? Why? It attracts bears. The bears can smell the menstruation. Hi guys. <laughs> what was that shot for? What the fuck? <laughs> Jellystone Park. Oh, we're gonna just run a short way and we're all of a sudden out of breath. I think I'm gonna die. You guys run a tow truck company! Yeah, a shitty one at that. Jazzercise. In the fucking outdoors! <laughs> I like how the women aren't struggling at all. <laughs> oh, Twist, so Maxie and her friends have always been camping. Sure. These three idiots have never been camping. What? That was a tape Fish? wind. Thank God what we watched Naked and Afraid and learned how to build a fucking house. Fishing? Ah! Couldn't we just send out for sushi? We don't even have any fishing gear. There must be something we can use here. Empty your pockets and purses. And Empty your pockets and purses. See, this is why I don't carry a purse. Who the hell builds a house in the woods? Just bring a tent, yeah. Dental and rhinestone. 
We can use this to catch a mackerel. Oh boy. Uh, let me just fall asleep while I'm fishing. Oh. I feel like that's the most accurate part of this. Minus the lack of beer. I guess they got their own jackass theme. Oh, come on! The fish is so powerful, it's dragging him down the river! Unless they caught a log. I'm in the van down by the river! It looks like they caught a no, log. Caught... Yeah, it looks like he caught a log, definitely. All kids love log. We gotcha! Grab our hands! Oh, a hand of Barbera! Where did you come from? like a really bad and then they all just like, go John over the West. waterfall and die said, like, <laughs> well they're actually dead oh you know rip Sorry, Gonzo, Max, you know what to do fish biting today at least we have something to fish with now i'm just waiting for them to grab a gun that was just converted into a lamp and shoot Are a bear we? in the ass <laughs> a little dental floss and a couple of happening earrings. A oh, bullshit! Don't worry. The only thing those are good for is fishing for compliments. Ooh, <laughs> fishing for compliments before the internet, Jesus. Four, five, six for the girls team, and one for us. Please just tell me these idiots have never been fishing. Let alone they, camping. They they lost their fucking fishing. I mean, look at that dude. He's an incel, obviously. I like their clothes, if that's a plus. Kitty, shut up. Oh, the ride reminds me too much of that little bunny from Space Jam. It's a toy line, of course you like the clothes. I like how colorful and stylish they are. Shoot me. What the fuck? Oh, well, Okay, we get it! Maxie and her friends are just really good at camping! They must have been in girls' I hate class. how the girls have style, but the boys just wear white shirt, blue pants, Camo. Looks like they're improvising with all the girl necessities that the boys are like. Remember, oh. like, the guys wear skinny jeans until the late 2000s. I forgot we that's were naked we, for half a quarter century. That's when we discovered the gay. Oh, the gays discovered themselves. Exactly. Well, at least we'll win the camp building event. Oh, look, they actually built a little house. Oh, no. That really is naked and afraid. That actually is a pretty good shelter. Why do you look like James oh. Dean? He didn't look oh, like that in the last on. episode. He looked like a 40 year old pedophile. You, you know, lightning's gonna hit or some crumbles. shit. And then it crumbles or. Yep. Wow. Why not? Ew. It's a fucking shit. What oh, I guess it was raining Fanta shit? for some weird reason. Oh, it's a mudslide! Oh my god. Hey, you know, um, those have been known to kill people. Gonzo, it's a Dorito you know. factory expert. <laughs> Oh, let's see. I want to see their 20 store. Oh, you know, they got like a freaking Flintstone set up. Hey, look! A micro cave oven! Bullshit! We're just Whoa, fucking bye. great. Oh, oh my so god. Dumb. Unless if they went oh, to Girl god. Scouts. Girl Scouts make a fucking cave oven? <laughs> hey, you don't know who's resourceful. Is that what a coven is? No, covens are different than Girl Scouts, but then again, we get together. Oh, cave oven, coven. Oh. Maybe. Huh. I'm just kidding, I'm fucking around. You know, the funny part is I'm probably complaining about all this and this is shit the Girl Scouts actually do. Like, all of incompetent. it. Oh, Jesus, he went a little dirt from his anger. Jesus. I remember in my Girl Scout handbook that I had when I was, like, in third grade that there is a whole process of, you know, camping and then setting up the tents, doing this. They ha gave you a whole manual to read, like, and it was fucking thick. Like, two, two to three hundred Let me guess. Let me guess. They're going to disguise that jackass as the bear. And then an actual bear. Yeah? Oh, it's like you I fucking guessed it. Uh -huh. Here comes Yogi, bitches. Give me that pick a nigga basket. Hey there, boo-boo. Time to die. <laughs> Looks like it really is the but Great Yogi. Outdoors movie all over again. Yogi, I don't know. We should kill them. Uh, shut the, shut fuck up. the fuck up, you little shit. Me hungry. That, that bear looked a little out of it, didn't it? It's a little stoned, it's alright. The video game's gonna come in handy now, watch. Okay, guys, our honor's at stake here. Fuck your honor, you're about to die! Hello! 
That bear is too happy to be a bear. You expect us to believe that's a real bear? Um, you might want to look again. Now it's mad. <laughs> I want what? pie, what? motherfucker. And it better be Did apple. You know I saw it, it was happy. Look, Yogi just wants the fucking pie, just like in every episode, okay? Why are you screaming want... bear? We know what it is. It's I want me some dog. of that mint meat, boo boo. Mm. I hope that pretty boy comes back. I'm about to plunge myself into his back. Oh god, Yogi, stop. Double penetration, boo boo. I get the front, you get the back. It roasted! Anyway, I've got a plan to defend ourselves. See? Defend ourselves against what? A dull wardrobe? Can you shut up about this competition and your manlyhood? I know, they need to fuck It's not a competition anymore! You're fighting for your lives! This is great! We're about to become bear burgers, and Max is drying her pantyhose! I love it when you put your meat in my mouth. Congratulations! All you did was piss it off. Yes, no, because this would do anything more than piss it off. Yeah, they'd In be real dead. Life, this wouldn't have happened. This thing would fucking eat them. All they have to do is act like they're scared. There's more of them. Just go. Ah! Ah! The rising sun as the bear starts eating the last corpse. Holy Just shit. hearing the fucking rending of flesh. That would be your musical number. Oh Christ! Dad's drinking Maker's Mark, and he's starting to talk. Oh no! The Maxi Horror Picture Show. I am a big Rocky Horror. Uh, I'm already I watching it. Be it's like horrible. That anyway. Oh God! Who? I want to know who's playing Doctor Frankenfurter and who's playing um. Oh, what's his name? Escape it's just gonna be Scooby Doo. We finally had the go-ahead to make our own horror film for the TV station. Simone was directing, and of course, Ashley was the star. And as usual, she was really into her character. How sweet! Fresh feet! That girl has a foot fetish. No fucking question about it. She just grabs onto his feet and starts sniffing them. It's perfect! It's perfect! But we didn't For feet! You know that you have to go in there and get a little telephone and try to call somebody that end up being stay there and finding out that your man is gay. Oh yeah, I remember that. Why, why is fucking Vampyra here? Oh, are they gonna try to pull an Elvira in Mistress of the Dark where she pops out and she's like, hello everyone. Wouldn't she I be guess. already sitting on the couch? Uh, no, I guess a coffin. Maybe it's Vampyra. You're probably thinking of Zvenguli also. No, 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 they're, they're, oh, you know who Vampyra is, right? Uh... She's I basically so. like the predecessor of Elvira. Nice teeth! I've seen better acting on a corpse. She's a killer cosplayer. Oh, yeah. She's one of those big titty thought cosplayers that are like, Love me for my cosplay. Oh, the eyes moved. Oh, my God. She's oh. like... Well, but looks like we're in a haunted house. Boo! That picture! The eyes were following me! Did you not see that shit? Down here. Is that supposed to be Shakespeare? You I think so. Out. Some old fucker knowing my luck. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> well? My eyes grew back! <laughs> I was hoping he broke through the wall. I would just poke them again. <laughs> okay, let's... You guys look for a room we can use for the dinner scene. Oh, they're doing... What's for dinner? Meatloaf again. Well... Oh, God. It's a zombie. This is so... This is so... Gesundheit. I admit, she's no great beauty. I admit, How in the fuck... How did he not hear that? And enough of that rock creaking. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Fucking hell. Who animated this? They're a big Deep hulking mass. City. Beat the shit out of them. You notice the giant with massive muscles is the most afraid in the group? Isn't that always the case? Pretty much. It just becomes the question of why the fuck don't they just beat the shit out of the problem? Ugly bitch. Come on. Ooh. Burn 
Somebody help! It's a monster! It's a mummy! It's... Maxi! I think there was something wrong with that particular animation there. Yep. Oh, where's the Ouija board? The real action. Oh, I see. Fuck! I wonder what that animate a fucking door too. I guess. Cutting corners, saving money. So it took them leaning back in the chair for the floor to open up. Where have we seen this before? This is a BDSM dungeon, and this did not happen only in bits and parts of Rocky Horror. It's less Rocky Horror and more Ghost Fever. Hello, this is Horror the Retard Show. Why are you a floating head? I love the cheap Halloween costumes. Buddy, where are you? Did anybody oh, notice he was smiling when he said, Where are you? Shaggy's yeah, smarter than this. Oh, Jesus. Property damage. No. Well, we just Scooby Dooed it for sure. <sighs> Definitely. I'm not feeling so good. Oh, so oh, oh. Well, you have Daphne and Velma. Let's see what happens to Rob? these two fucks. Ash Rob? Ashley? Simone? Birdie? Mushroom? You're talking to each other. Daphne. What the fuck? Well, Whoa. look, iCarly. Oh, she's Daphne. Okay, I make sense now. It's thought time! Chow down, spider! Spiders love thoughts. It's a fact. Spider well, in my room uh, trying to have an outbreak of COVID-19 here. We're not bringing that up ever again. Spider in my room trying to suck. Fuck a shot. A wire? Hmm. Let me follow the suspicious wire to the suspicious door that's conveniently suspicious. Carl the Rapist. Open. Steven Spielberg. Uh. After directing Jurassic Park, I wanted to take my own shot in the Scooby Doo movie. Better than me than some shitty studio picking it up. I discovered Phil was a special effects director for a horror film called Freddy and Jason's Excruciating Adventure. Freddy and Jason. Well, four Did you have versus the Jason right happened. To use those? <laughs> Well, no, but we'll secure it later. Boy, if I ever get out of this, I'll never harm another spider again. What am I saying? I'll never get out of this. The music is so horrible. And the overlay and is kind so of questionable. Terribly tanked. Hey, give it a rest. It's fun. Why don't you? You broke it, fatty. Everything worked out great. And stole the right Sylvira. And Vampyra. And Morticia. And so it was that with Steven Spielberg, Maxie made the first and Jason. Scooby Doo movie ever. And that other one doesn't exist because it sucks. The end. I was really, really hoping that someone would come out as a Frank Inferno reference. I was so expecting that. Even on a you children's level. You just saw level. the title and you didn't even... Look, I ended up looking this up. I wanted to be fucking surprised, dude. That's the point of the reaction. I don't really watch these. I go in blind. Well, I sadly had to do a lot of research just to make sure that when I introduced oh, this gosh, shit... Oh, you were with the fun. No, I was just trying to say. I had to, do, I had to look into this shit so that way I can... When I record the intro for this, I try to make sure that I don't look like an idiot. Or us look like idiots, really. Get it. Every reaction video he's done, he actually gives a brief background on every show we watch. Or at least try to, starting with... No, I get that, with... but it's like... I don't know. I yeah. like going in surprise, but I get that. But for me, anyways, you guys you still, still are. keep it a surprise. I'm okay. probably gonna be somewhat spoiled. I'm running somewhat, my algorithms. Oh, jeez! Oh, oh, shit, here. Wilshire! Wilshire, how's it going, man? <laughs> I'm a bit off-model, but I'm feeling like... There, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yep. What happened to Bianca you, Bianca? had to change hair colors because Jerry's in this episode. But at least we know Bianca's in here. Bianca, and I can't hear you over the dub track of the audio. Yeah, I don't know why. Wait, why but I was trying to preview the episode to make sure that the audio is Wait fucking a minute. weird. You just can't get good help nowadays. 
Was there a yeah. Maxi's World Beverly Hills Team crossover? Yes, this is it. This. And this is it. Oh. It was hosted on Maxi's World. What is wrong with his fucking legs? He's not doing that. <laughs> we're, mixing, we're mixing the Beverly Hills teen animation and the grotesque shit from Maxi's World. Why not? And there's Jerry. Maxi the team captain. Maxi's World. Maxi this, Maxi that. She gets all the attention. What a trip. Oh, you're a Bianca clone. No, no wonder. <gasps> <laughs> Yeah, we love this song! We were More supposed to recognize these as the Beverly Hills teens? No, Bianca and Wilshire are the only ones in here, out of the cast. That's stupid. Yeah, supposedly. Bianca, I'm confused. I want to see the others. Yeah, that does tell us, however, that Beverly Hills teen and Maxi World are in the same world. Oh, now Canonic we're doing Beverly Hills teens humor. Same universe. Yeah. The only other connection is that Jerry's supposed to be the cousin of Troy Jeffries from BHT. Does that mean this episode is going to half care about itself? I guess so. It's going to be a surfing episode, though. So, 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 so. <gasps> Where's the surfing boy? Wait, is that the oh, cast? Oh, never mind. There's some of the cast right there. <laughs> is that oh Holy my God. shit, they were all color this fuck. <laughs> Wilshire looked jacked. That. Wilshire is jacked, I told you. He was. I'll be makeover? Or, was, or has it been that long? I feel like this is nah, a. Nah, you're right. Wilshire's fucking. Oh, mad. I thought the video glitched. Why is oh, he in rough and tough, you baby? Look Why at him, he looks like a pro wrestler. He looks like he is titty. Can we hurry up? I gotta go on Crumb. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go on my social Bino. <laughs> Shut up. Did you just change your fucking outfit? I Mid went battle. for my volume. Mm. Ah. But the, here's my thing, right? Is that Troy? Where Supposed to be, or maybe He's just a recolor? Considering no. both are Deke Animation City animations. These characters are so drastically off-colored. How are you supposed to know these were the Beverly Hills teens? At uh, we were on the sidelines with Bianca, the Beverly Hills player who suffered a broken fingernail. How would you like to swallow this microphone? Honestly, you could have kept uh, her hair black. Just keep it longer than the other girls. Yeah, like make it shorter or something. Or have her wear different clothes. Or wear her signature dress, like. Yeah, the ugly one. Man, the audience of these shows must have been extraordinarily... I don't want to say the R word. I really Wait, want Pierce in here. Stupid. I care about you can go with that. No, it's ridiculous. Not ridiculous. She's like, ridiculous. I don't give a shit. Are you crazy? Oh, that is Troy. Let me clean it up for you, my queen. Yikes. I misremember that. I, I really having trouble remembering most of this. I think I probably you know, just like down a shit. A muscle toned Wilshire just came out to clean the volleyball. <laughs> remember oh. Wilshire. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, she plays dirty. I, I like Bianca. She's such a cunt. But Wilshire's ripped. Confirmed. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah. And he he is definitely a Wilshire bear type. confirmed to beat your ass. What is with the space? This would be perfect time for Switchboard to pop in. Hi guys, it's oh me. Oh god, I wouldn't be able. To, I wouldn't oh. be able to handle it. It's already an overload as is. So many missed uh, opportunities. This this could have been executed. Maybe like Pierce better. could be suntan. I'm more focused on my looks. <laughs> I mean, like we're or Bianca like Pierce and fucking on the bitch. Bianca and Wilshire are great, but were they like the show favorites or something? Like, well, there are favorites. There are favorites for the most I'm just saying part. they could have the other people still the, here, well, but doing something else. You know? The reason why there are favorites yeah. is because those two are the only characters out of the whole cast of Beverly Hills teens, and maybe Pierce, that get actual character development. Everyone else is kind of, Hi, I'm here. Oh, Troy. Wait. That fucking noise. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. <laughs> just like, should have... My head the animation is. Oh my god! Why did, why did we have a cross shot for God's sake? Uh -huh. Talk about uh -huh. egg on your face. 
the sound of laughter. It's music to my ears. Cause I'm evil. <laughs> yeah, I'm stoned out of my ass. <laughs> Why, Why am I in the water? Why is Lard looking like an idiot? Just more than usual. All of them look like idiots. I don't even know their names except for him and her. No, because those- okay, so I know- we already know who those two fuckers are. Which one's Betty? Which one's Veronica? I'm so lost. That's <laughs> more continuity here. Did Bianca just decide to dye her hair blonde? Well, here, the That's intent fucking, was to change up the fucking hair so they don't get confused with her here. I know, but you can't do that to an established continuity. It looks like change the hairstyle of one of them. Put her Bring in a ponytail. The... Done. Yeah, that you could have. You could have put her in like a really uh, 80s I'm, I'm ponytail, side ponytail. I mean, what happened? Did her fucking follicle shit the bed and change you? You can't just do that, man. Maybe it lost melatonin. Melatonin. Yeah, sorry. Again, I worked. I mean, I guess another really hypothetical. Like How many sleep. years after the Beverly Hills teens would this be? Huh. Well, I think you're wrong with melatonin, too. That's what helps you sleep. I mean, shut up. <laughs> Look, I went- I have- I went got home at, like, 11 o'clock at night, and then it takes me a time- like, an hour or two to wind down after, And Bianca like, dyed like... her hair, and I just can't handle anything. My whole world's turning upside down. Yeah, because Bianca dyed her hair. I blame her. Can we go? What? Actually, Hello? <laughs> What's he saying? Problem I noticed. Wilson's head is way too small for his body. He's got like the face of a fat boy and the body of a strong dude. Right? Look I at that! Wilshire. Charge, Wilshire! Charge! Oh, Lord. This is dumb. Now, oh, kiss. He's that same shot of the audience. Fuck you, Wilkins! She actually helped Bianca. Holy shit. I think Did they switch for it, it would have been too much overload. Did I was just joking. Show... Just this itself, it's already overload. Did they just show the antagonist with some more? I would have had a volleyball tournament and have like the Beverly Hills teens versus these guys. That's as easy as you could have done it. Or a drag yeah. race. And then Dexter dude could have like made up a, an invention, like a volleyball that's a heat seeking some shit. A, and they disqualified for cheating. About Chester and B. The Chester, Dexter, you know what I mean. And so they, then they get disqualified for cheating, so then they're sad, but then Maxie's like, no, that was really cool for ratings. See, so he already came up with a better fan fiction. Yeah. Okay, we need to reboot this shit and make it better. Okay, if someone's out there that's listening, we want a reboot of the Beverly Hills scenes. And, Netflix but not, original. Yeah. Live action. Kitty Hyper could play Bianca. Oh my god, I would love to be playing Bianca. I would love <laughs> to play Bianca. <laughs> I'll play Wilshire. And, and Gonzo can't be Lark. Yeah, God, so you can be Lark if you want. <laughs> Jesus, no! <laughs> I don't find you here. want enough. <laughs> Look, you get to ha be with a pretty boy and be really popular and Miss Perfect. Oh, that concludes another mindless Gonzo cringe react. That was a fucking shit show on of a last leg. The fucking overload of recolored BHT characters versus. What's sad is they couldn't even save that show. Oh, ho. I don't think it was even saving show or whatever. I don't even know how far along there is this no saving. Is. I know it's beyond fucking tw episode twelve because the YouTube uploads only got up to twelve episodes. Hmm. So oh. I'm gonna let you guys know why I like Wilshire so much. Why? In regards to the abundance of characters, one, I was correct, Wilshire is jacked, not some tubby boy. So that tells you that Wilshire does a lot of heavy lifting. Mainly In regards to your sufficient, Wilshire has proven himself time and time again to be perfectly capable of taking care of himself, thus being an appropriate caretaker and guardian for Bianca, as he's constantly following her around, protecting her, assisting her, he showed time and time again to have his own form of moral ambiguity despite sometimes being reduced to a lackey for Bianca. But it shows time and time again, Wilshire has his own morals and his own character, showing that he is both sufficient at any job you could possibly throw at him, but at the same time that he's willing to give Bianca her comeuppance, especially in the episode where he helped them prank her into thinking she was poor and had to get a job. Or the other time that... 
he sufficiently with the other surfer dude caught all the fish for the camp and led Bianca and Pierce and everybody else who was just acting fucking crappy to believe they were marooned and stranded on a desert island had no qualms with it. So that kind of shows Wil Wilshire has his own kind of moral code. He's not just a yes, Bianca type character, despite the fact that he totally has feelings for Bianca. He strikes me more as a character that's trying to change her moral outlook by being the only person that will ever bat to court for her. To a certain a point. I, I can respect that. <laughs> All right. There's a lot going on with Wilshire. He's just fucking interesting. Right, Who's so how Oh fuck! Damn, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch, what the fuck? I went for my volume and instead. Where the fuck were we? I need to fucking... Here we go. There we go. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> the end. Leave it in. God damn it. <laughs>